What you do we know, have? we get excited when the gloves come out. <laughs> Lives Go Green Week continues with some easy and effective ways to clean your home the natural right. way. Please welcome back to the show, Amy Goodman. Good morning, Amy. Hi. Thanks for being here. We have a lot of things to go over here. Where should we start? We do, and no chemicals, non-toxic, mm -hmm. to clean up our homes and make them really safe okay. as well and at the same works, time. Yes, too, it right? really it gets does a job work. done. So we're going to start with the oven. I use my oven every single day, and it shows. So if you open that up, Mr. Ryan, see, you'll see it's nice and dirty on oh. the bottom there. Oh. Kelly's we're been making nachos again. <laughs> or maybe my uh, my thing is pizza and a little cheese. Mm -hmm. drips it always down. Drips cheese down. drips down. Yes, yeah. sure. So we're going to start with some baking soda into the bowl followed with a bit of water to make a nice thick paste. When we get that, oh, that's okay. that's perfect. Maybe a little more baking, more baking soda, soda to make it a thicker paste. We're gonna put this into the oven, no more either with your either with your spoon or with your gloves. It should be a nice, well, yeah, thank you. There we go, there we go. You can just use your gloves. He doesn't know what the word paste means. All right, so now, so we know, Kelly, so, uh, you're up. Well, okay. We normally you, wouldn't splash it in, but we're gonna put it the paste into the bottom of the oven okay. where this really works. Should, should as I a non-abrasive cleanser. Should I use it uh, like just with my gloves or should yeah. I use it? Like you can use, actually, I, normally it's much thicker at home. Yes, so right. yes, you, you would do it with the gloves, you could do it with a spoon. If that, we're gonna let that rest as for you, like 30 minutes. Yes, then as you can you see, it's do yes. a little spray with the white yes. vinegar. This is distilled white prove vinegar. even thin will work. Yes, so that's gonna work to kind of create a little sizzle okay. to lift up even more. You'll use non-abrasive cleaners to do some scrubbing. And lastly, a wet cloth to wipe it all down. Now, normally this is quite thick, and after it's dried, it's a little bit powdery. But um, yeah, it's gonna. You can see it's already lifting up. No, it's, it's my fault if it amazing. didn't work because I made it thin. I know. Oh no, know, no, no, no. Just it's, so it's you know, awesome. though, look at that. The, um, comes right off. These it's drippings nice and clean. are Take from uh, yeah, there you go. 2004. So. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. So that cleans right up. That's a great up. one. All yeah. Right. So that's, that's for, a great tip. That's for cleaning the inside of the oven. What about the outside? The stainless steel. Yes. Yeah. You can keep your gloves on if you want, or you can take them off, doesn't matter. So we're gonna mix some water okay. with a, just a tiny bit of dish soap, a few squeezes Is this of gonna that. be thin or thick? This is gonna be liquidy, okay. yeah. So liquidy, that we can, Kelly, don't overdo it. Yep, lemon. we're gonna mix that up and a squeeze of lemon. So lemon is actually non-bacterial, which is very, mm -hmm. very nice. And then we're gonna dip our washcloth in here. These are really cute, aren't they? Made from they bamboo. They are cute. And we're gonna squeeze it out and you're gonna wipe down the stainless steel of the refrigerator. And this is gonna do a bit of cleaning. Then I'm gonna prep for you while you do, you can stroke it however you like to get it clean. I'm gonna prep for you the shining aspect, which this is the bomb. Just a little bit of olive oil onto a soft cloth. Another and we're gonna run EDO. it, we're gonna run it the dr the grain of the stainless steel. So from from you know, left to right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. if you will. And that's going to create the shine. Once it's dry, you can do this okay. nice, shiny olive oil treatment. Can I try it now? And it really makes it shine up just like a brand new I appliance. I feel like I'm in a 1950s movie, like... Ryan never helps with the housework. <laughs> <laughs> Something must be going on. Oh, no! Maybe yeah. he needs another cup of Folgers. <laughs> So th that's all natural, and my kitty cat was licking my dishwasher the other day oh, after amazing. the olive oil. But oh. it doesn't bother me because it's all natural. Right, it's all natural. Yes. Good. So, okay. good. so with our water bottles, okay. we, we just rinse them with water. We think it only had water in them. They are petri dishes, literally for our bacteria, our mm -hmm. backwash, potentially black mold, all sorts of things. Ooh. So each of you are going to take one of these. I have pre-made for you one quarter distilled white vinegar and okay. four parts water. Oh, you're still gloved. It's so adorable. Yeah, I don't know why I have these gloves we on. Well, so we're going to can't, pour them into. Can't never be yes, too safe. Okay. So okay. this is actually going to work as a deodorizer. We're going to literally cap them and then for 30 minutes let it rest with the straws on, with the tops on and everything. Now it's been capped for 30 minutes in time lapse. And now we're going to actually rinse it out. Part of the rinsing process includes warm water and sudsy water. Uh -huh. You're going to attack these with some bristle brushes. We've got some bottle brushes. We have some straw brushes for the straws. Don't forget to do the lids. Rinse again to get the vinegar scent out, right? Yep, That's yep. not my favorite. And then let it air dry. Now, yours actually, Kelly, is dishwasher safe top rack. Mm -hmm. So as a final sterilization, pop that on the top rack of the dishwasher and let it go for a because deep sanitization. Because if you've ever found any of these in your children's gym bags, Oh. Rolling around in the back seat underneath the car. M months and months of whatever mm. that was. Things happen. Things yeah. happen. All right, yes. what's next? So this is actually a sink with a garbage disposal, as you can see. Okay. So we're going to do a deep cleanse. We're going to start with an exfoliation. If you put in the ice for me, so a cup of ice, half okay. a cup of salt. Okay. You can just 
throw it in. Throw it all in you there. Me? Sure. Yeah, go and for then it. you run the disposal. Okay. Next is a deep cleanse. So we have here, again, half a cup of distilled white vinegar. Okay. And we're going to let that rest for 30 minutes to about an hour. Okay. Then we're going to get into there with half a cup of our baking soda. And this has a chem natural chemical reaction. Wow. The volcano is going to happen. Yes, um, where it releases carbon dioxide and really gives it more of a cleanse. Uh -huh. Run the tap water, run the disposal. Oh and God. lastly, we're going to do a refresh with the yeah. lemon. The so lemon is nice. Some chopped yeah. lemons. We're going to throw and it in. And you can put those yeah. down in there, no problem. Yeah. yeah, put them in. Watch out for your fingers. Run the water. Yeah. Run the disposal. And that, nice and you can just time. actually do the whole plate yeah. if you want. Really gives it a nice cleanse. Yep. And that's the refresh yeah. section. Okay. Yeah. That's great. Okay, what's next? For dusting. To dust top and dirt. Right. to bottom. Yes. We're going to dust the house, including light fixtures, tops of bookshelves, and ceiling fans. But you want the good tools. So here, if you'll take a look, these are microfiber tools. Mm -hmm. So, of course, microfiber has a positive charge, which attracts naturally the negative charge of dust. So you don't have to do anything. It just kind of clings and goes right up into it, which is amazing. Traditional feather dusters, it pushes the dust off into the air, right? right. So this is really great. And you can also make great. your own, yeah, isn't it nice with the handle? <laughs> or other uses. So you can make your own cleanser as well with one part of the fabric softener and two parts of water. Dip your cloth into it, go over the surfaces, and that's gonna, has anti-static properties fabric to repel softener. dust. Ah, yeah. Interesting. What's interesting. next? So for your plant, you, I suppose like you could use this, but we're gonna use just a microfiber cloth yes. to get at the front parts and the bottom bottom parts of leaf, you don't need oil, you don't need plant you cleaners, need, you, you don't need, need anything that wouldn't naturally, you know, those things aren't in nature anyway. So this is a great way to remove dust. It's totally effective. Can't wait to mess Incredible. things up to clean them naturally. Thank you very I much, mean, Amy, for coming. All of these solutions and tips on our Always website, kellyandryan.com. Like we can't see And we'll be right back. <laughs> Want to know more about any of this week's green tips? Just log on to our website at kellyandryan.com.